This is episode 58 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? Just Ask Joey. The Accidental Stoic, part four, develop self-awareness. I honestly don't know how to develop this on purpose. It's the epitome of an accident for me. We are horrible judges of ourselves. We are our best advocates, our worst critics. We go on the defensive when criticized by others. We fail to see our own weaknesses. Basically, we're a mess. How many of us know exactly what we need to change and just don't do it? We know the next step, the best course of action, the thing we are supposed to do, the things we are not supposed to do, but we just don't. We make excuses. We distance ourselves from the situations, from its reality, and we don't change. A huge benefit to messing up is the lethal dose of reality. It's like chemotherapy in the 1960s. Reality can kill you. Even if it doesn't, it will bring you close enough to feel like it. If you're lucky enough that it doesn't kill you, you're as good as new. Maybe even better. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? The idea that you can be better than ever is what keeps you pushing through. I remember sitting in my cell, hell, sitting at home, way before I even got to San Quentin, and knowing that this will never happen again. I will never be that person again. Not just a cheating piece of shit, but any of the negative things. I was going to be a machine. It was like a self-awareness atom bomb. I audited my whole life. Where could I be better? What should I stop doing? What should I do more of? How can I get better? Audit, audit, audit. I became consumed with self-awareness. Granted, in the darker days, it was not great. I was so self-aware of my past that I was not functioning well in the present. But I got past it and focused on the present and the future. That drive, that hatred of my former self is inevitably going to make me better than I was before. Failure is not an option. Learning is growing. Complaining will get you nothing. Believe in yourself. Blah, blah, blah. It flipped a switch. I had to consistently check myself, audit my thoughts, behavior, My whole day, from the time I got up to the time I went to bed, Monday through Sunday, 365, there was 5% better somewhere. 3% somewhere. I just needed to find it. I honestly don't know how I would have been able to have this focus and insight without the failure. Everything became so obvious. The heat from the blast melted down everything everything to its core, its truth. Everything was looking me in the eye. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. It allowed me to realize that I am the center of all of my issues. There is no one to blame but me. No one can make me angry. No one can make me happy. I choose to do good or bad. I choose to work better and smarter or I don't. I am the master of my emotions, my thinking, my body, and my decisions. That means doing things that help with physical as well as mental health. Things like meditation, sleep, healthy eating, fitness, reading, practicing positive self-talk, and constantly refining and adjusting to be more effective, more efficient, and striving to get better and better. Because I was able to see my weaknesses, I could reinforce the areas that needed it. 
Another thing I realized through introspection is that we are small. No one wants to think things will function without them. Work, family, friends, anything. But the truth is, things will function without you. Why? Because they have to. Everyone talks about the greatest generation or the pain tolerance of women. All these things that one group can do that the other can't. It's all bullshit. No one really knows what they're capable of until they have to do it. If men gave birth, men would give birth and women would have the lower pain tolerance. That's not the way it is, but there's not much of an option either. Some of the best stories throughout history, war stories, come from men and women that were put in situations that we couldn't even imagine, and they survived to tell their story. Were they heroic? Of course. Were they superhuman, spawned from some tougher generation? Uh, no. They were put in a situation where they either lived or died. They lived. I'm sure if they had a choice, they never would have been there in the first place. But once you're there, you either fight or lie down. That could be you. It could be me. We don't know. We've never been tested like that. We can all be just as good and just as bad as the next person. There are moments where we're great. There are moments where we are awful. Moments where we're strong and moments where we're weak. But we don't know which way way we're going to go until that moment happens. It is an absolute blessing to be humbled, to feel weak, to be a loser, to be a piece of shit. It allows you to evaluate yourself honestly. The hardest thing for humans to do. Self-awareness requires effort and honesty unless you put yourself in a situation where you find it accidentally. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Black ass Joey.